Good morning, students. Our topic for today is about the histology of the thyroid gland. The thyroid gland is located anterior and inferior to the larynx, consisting of two lobes united by an isthmus. It originates in early embryonic life from the foregut endoderm near the base of the developing tongue. Thyroid gland synthesizes the hormones thyroxine or tetraiodothyronine, triiodothyronine, and calcitonin. The parenchyma of the thyroid is composed of millions of rounded epithelial thyroid follicles, also known as thyrocytes or follicular cells. The lining epithelium of thyroid follicle is generally simple cuboidal epithelium if it is active and the part of the thyroid follicle lined with simple squamous epithelium is hypoactive. Thyroid follicles rest on basal lamina. The nuclei are round and centrally located. Basally, the cells are rich in rough endoplasmic reticulum and apically facing the follicular lumen are rich in Golgi complexes, secretory granules, numerous phagosomes and lysosomes, and microvilli. The central lumen is densely filled with gelatinous acidophilic colloid. The thyroid is the only endocrine gland in which a large quantity of secretory product is stored, enough to supply for three months. The thyroid colloid consists of large glycoprotein thyroglobulin, which is the precursor for the active thyroid hormones that were mentioned earlier. The synthesis, production, and release of thyroid hormones is controlled by thyroid-stimulating hormone produced by the anterior pituitary gland. The thyroid gland is covered by a fibrous capsule from which septa extend into the parenchyma, dividing the gland into lobules. The septa carries with it blood vessels, nerves, and lymphatics. Follicles are densely packed together, separated from one another only by sparse reticular connective tissue. This stroma is well vascularized with fenestrated capillaries for easy transfer and release of hormones to the blood, reaching different parts of the body. This picture shows to you the simple squamous epithelium of hypoactive thyroid follicles. This is the simple cuboidal epithelium of metabolically active thyroid follicles and the centrally located colloid which contains thyroglobulin. The production, storage, and release of thyroid hormones involve an unusual multi-stage process in the thyrocytes with both an exocrine phase and an endocrine phase. Both phases are promoted by thyroid-stimulating hormone. The first step is production of thyroglobulin which is synthesized in the rough endoplasmic reticulum and glycosylated in the Golgi apparatus. Thyroglobulin has no hormonal activity and thyroglobulin is released as an exocrine product from apical vesicles of thyrocytes into the follicular lumen. Next step is the uptake of iodide from blood by sodium iodide importers in the thyrocytes basolateral cell membranes, which allows for 30-fold concentration of dietary iodide in thyroid tissue relative to plasma. An apical iodide chloride transporter, also called a spendrin, pumps iodide from the thyrocytes into the colloid. The third step is iodination of tyrosyl residues in thyroglobulin with either one or two atoms occurring in the colloid after oxidation of iodide to iodine by membrane-bound thyroid peroxidase on the microvilli surfaces of thyrocytes. 
the next step is formation of T3 and T4 which occurs when two iodinated tyrosines are covalently conjugated in coupling reactions. The next step is endocytosis of iodinated thyroglobulin by the tyrosites involving both fluid phase pinocytosis and receptor-mediated endocytosis. The endocytic vesicles fuse with lysosomes and the thyroglobulin is thoroughly degraded by lysosomal proteases, freeing active thyroid hormone as both T3 and T4. And the last step is secretion of T4 and T3 at the basal lateral domains of thyrocytes. Nearly all of both thyroid hormones are carried in blood tightly bound to thyroxine binding globulin or albumin. Another endocrine cell type found in the thyroid gland is parafollicular cell, also known as C cell because it secretes calcitonin, C for calcitonin which inhibits osteoclast activity thereby lowering the blood calcium level. These cells are derived from neural crest. Parafollicular cell is found inside the basal lamina of follicular epithelium or as isolated clusters between follicles. So based on that description, these are the follicles and in between are the parafollicular cells. Parafollicular cells are larger than follicular cells and stain less intensely. This picture shows to you the follicular cells which stain more intensely, the colloid, and the parafollicular cells which stain less intensely. This is another picture showing you the colloid, the follicular cells, and the parafollicular cells. And now, let's try to identify some structures. Identify the pointed cells or structure. If your answer is follicular cells for A, parafollicular cells or C cells for B, and colloid for C, then you get everything right. And that's the end of our lecture.